Hey everybody, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and I'm gonna try to comment and put a link down here. Maybe, there we go. If you're watching replay, just put hashtag replay so I know you were here. I appreciate you being here and trying to pin something. So bear with me, I'm trying to pin something at the bottom. Well, and I'm having to lean over the table. Hey everybody. Hang on. Whew, wearing me out. There we go. Trying to get it pinned. Hey, Linda. Come on. Oh, no. I just deleted the comment. Hey, guys. So, while y'all are doing that, while y'all are... I'm going to try to do it again. I deleted it. Hold on. This table's a lot bigger than you think until you start... Leaning over it. Okay. I'm getting it. I hit delete instead of pin. I'm sorry. Hey, everybody. Dang. Okay. I'm not going to hit um, delete this time. Pin. There we go. Oh, I hit, I pinned. <laughs> oh gosh, I pinned Dana's comment. <laughs> Y'all bear with me. I'm sorry. Now, there we go. Sorry guys. Hey, Callie. Hey, everybody. I missed. I'm so sorry. I was trying to get that done and I forgot to bring my laptop over and didn't get it pinned. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Tanya. You got your hair cut today? From Hummingbird Paintery. Um, so somebody just said something about my shirt already. <laughs> so um, y'all know that I love Beware Sportswear. I love their t-shirts. I have tons of them. Um, I finally got to chat with them today and they have been so kind as to give me a promo code for my followers. Um, they're always having a sale and if you use that code TTV20 at the bottom of the screen that's pinned, they, um, you will get an additional 20% off your order. Even if they're having like a 50% off sale, you will get a tw another 20% off with my promo code. So if you use that, you'll get an additional um, uh, discount. So they, they reached out to me and we chatted today. And so they did that because <clears throat> I send so many of y'all over there because I always wear their shirts. Oh, yay, Tammy. So, hey, everybody. Yes, Karina. So, that promo code will give you an additional 20% off, except for um, the plain shirts and the clearance. It won't work on that, but it'll work on everything else on their website. Hey, Kathy. So sorry I was fiddling with all that. Next time, I'll get my laptop, and I was rushing. And I was like, oh, I don't have time to get my laptop over here. So, hey, Linda. Now, I feel like I'm ran a raise. Oh, Debbie, you went to the Pop Shelf? Awesome. There's two of them in Memphis. Did you know that? Hey, Susan. Yay, Carla. Okay, so if y'all go to, it's, it's beware.com, B-W-E-A-R.com, and then the promo code is TTV, the Turquoise Valentine 20, and that will get you an additional 20% off. Yay. Yes, Nancy. Thank you for the stamps, Nancy, that you sent me from Hawaii. That was so sweet of you. Yes, Rita, they are true to size. I don't even know what brand. This is one of last year's. I don't even know what brand this is. I think it's jerseys. But yes, they are true to size, and I love them. Um, I love their shirts. So, anyway. So, tonight, we are going to do another patriotic. <laughs> you got your order today. And they're, they're coming out with, they told me today, they're coming out with a, what did they tell me? Some another, another collection, which they come out with collections all the time. Um, so they're coming out with um, 
uh, what was it? Was it a woods? Not camp. They got camping. It was something else. It was another collection they're coming out with to this week, I think. Hey, Loretta. Hey, Peggy. Okay, so what I'm going to use tonight is these stars from Dollar Tree. Um, sorry about the hat, guys. Um, <laughs> I don't like wearing a hat on the live, but I've been doing it lately. But right before um, I was going to get in the shower today to do my hair and my makeup and everything, in the middle of the day, the city busted a water line, and we had no water. And we just got water back probably an hour ago. And I was like, so it was off like five hours. Yes, their shirts run true to size. Oh, Linda, you bought five and you love them. Yes, Sue, I love their shirts. I'm telling you, I have a closet full. Um, and some of y'all had reached out to them and said, hey, you know, she's sending us to your site. And they even told me that today when they talked to me. Hey, Dolly. Okay, so here is this, the three stars. Um, I've had them in my stash. They put them out every year. And I'm going to, we're going to do something with them. We're uh, finally, I was like, Oh, I have three. Let's see what I can do with three. Oh, you like my hat? That's my DIY hero hat. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and take off my, the twine off the top. Hey, Robin. Um, cause I'm going to paint these. And of course that's just going to get in my way. I look fine. <laughs> well, I, I had the zoom meeting with them and I had to do it in a hat. And I was like, forgive me, but we didn't have any water. The shirts, um, Kathy, this pin at the bottom, it's a, it's a website called beware, W-E-A-R.com. And if you use the promo code TTV, the turquoise valentine 20, it'll give you 20% um, off of their already sale prices. So if it's 50% off, then you'll get another 20% off of that. So anyway, okay, so we're going to use these stars. And yes, we're doing something patriotic with them, of course. Um... Yes, Linda, they're, their shirts are wonderful, and you can't beat the price. Hey, Tammy, I'm doing good. Okay, so I'm going to, my idea is we are going to hang these like this, three in a row, like a door hanger. Um, dry shampoo to the rescue, right, Rhonda? And I was like, I'm just going to wear a hat. <laughs> um, so we're going to do some stuff up to them, though. I want to, like, do them all up, and I think I'm going to just kind of, you know, some of this stuff from Dollar Tree is kind of rough, so I'm going to, hey, Norma, the stars, they came from the Dollar Tree, and I've had them in my stash, and I know they put them out um, all the time. They're baseball jerseys. They are. They are very soft, and I love their Christmas shirts when they have Christmas. I love it all. Okay, so I got to think about, all right, yes. Okay, so I'm going to start off by painting them um hey stephanie i'm gonna use my plaster you can use whatever color i just i started out thinking i'm gonna do it white but then i thought mm, i'm just gonna dip right in my bottle i think <laughs> laura you can get your your hair in a hat too because your jeep is that what you said um so i'm just gonna start off we're gonna give them a good coat of this white um because i am going to crackle um, I want that Americana look that, you know, the, um, y'all know what I'm saying, the rustic Americana kind of, and I'm going to crackle it. Yes, Mary, they do. They fit true to size and they're just like a unisex t-shirt. They're not the slimming kind or anything. They're just regular t-shirts. Um, and I just love them. They have tank tops. They have hats. They have men's clothes, men's shirts too. So if you got to buy something for... A man in your life there you go they got some some cute um some good looking men shirts too so anyway hey sherry hey norma so i'm just going to give these a coat of plaster and i probably would have done this ahead of time but i didn't really have time to do it so i had a, some running around to do this afternoon hey cheryl and i had to do it in my hat and <laughs> Not that that matters, but y'all know, I was just, after you, you kind of plans kind of go awry, you're just kind of like messed up for the rest of the day. It's like, oh my goodness. But, you know, I guess it couldn't be helped. 
Yes, Dan Daniela. That's what um, they said. A lot of people, you know, I've sent a lot of people their way. And um, so they were kind enough to give me that promo code for y'all. Carol, I don't remember, but I do know because it's been probably since the first of the winter since I ordered from them. I haven't, well, no, I got some at Christmas. Um, I, but you get them like super fast. Like within a few days, you have them at your house. And I was like, wow. So, um, I just found them on Facebook one day and decided I liked their shirts. They had a gnome shirt or something that I liked. And I ordered from them and that's how I found them. Okay, I'm not gonna paint that tip because the um, I gotta hold on to it. So I'm gonna set it up here and let it dry. Hey Rhonda, so maybe y'all won't mind me painting and us chatting and all that stuff, but I gotta give them a good coat. I should have base coated them before. What you making? Wanda, I'm making this um, patriotic door hanger type deal that I'm gonna put these three big stars, I'm gonna hang them together. Yeah, they have sweatshirts in the winter, and they'll have the raglan baseball shirts, too. Um, but that's a good deal to get an extra 20% off. I was like, dang, okay, that's nice for my people. So, because I told them, I said, like, they, my people love them shirts, and I do, too. <laughs> hey, Trina, I'm good. I am good. How are you? Glad you're here. Four days, Tammy said. Tammy lives way out there somewhere. And they're in Ohio. They are a family-based business because I asked them all these questions today. And, um, but they are a family-based business, pretty big business. And, um, so that's, that's good. The little man helped the little man like me, <laughs> some of you. Okay. So I am just going to give these, these are from Dollar Tree. If you're just hopping on, Oh, Paula, you went to the Canton Flea Market? I have been there. Uh, there's a big flea market, guys, if y'all know what I'm talking about. And it's in Canton, Mississippi. And like over 100, 200,000 people come. And it's, it's huge. And I've been so many times in my life. Because um, I used to live a lot closer than I do now. But it's massive. And it's only two days of the year. It's only the, the second... Thursday in May and the second Thursday in October every single year and it's really huge and yeah it was the perfect weather because it was burning up hot it's always hot seems like I've never been when it's cold Regina hey my back is doing good I go to the doctor next Thursday and he's supposed to release me I think because I haven't seen him since the surgery so I have to come back in six weeks um so I'm gonna try to let me paint that end of that one now but i want i'm painting these plaster because i do want the i'm gonna want the white to come through this shirt right here is from last year so they have a whole new collection out for this year and i'm just yeah i've got several picked out because i love all of it they have an inspirational section with a bunch of um, t-shirts that have blessed. They have one that's got a cross on it made of flowers and it says faith, family, and freedom. And I love that shirt and it's navy blue. It's really pretty. Yeah, I wanna go to Canton, Texas too. I've heard a lot about that one and I would love to go there. Uh, Linda, I live in North Mississippi. I live right below Memphis. In Hernando, Mississippi, a little little town or a little city, whatever you want to call it. It's it's hustling and bustling, but yeah, it's it's little though compared to other things. Hey Bridget, thank you. Is it Bridget, Susan? Something <laughs> it went by too fast. So I'm just trying to get the edges too, but I want this base coat on the bottom. So that's why I want the I want the white to peek through because I'm gonna do crackle. Covered Bridge Festival in Park City, Indiana. I have never heard of that, but I bet it's fantastic. It's this time of year for all these festivals and flea markets, and it makes you want to get out and go. You ordered this shirt last year, Tammy. I know. I like it. I, if you see me wear a t-shirt, more than likely it's from them, because. Um, 
I have a lot of their shirts. <laughs> the one I had on, let's see. The one I had on the night that I did those little bottles back there, and it had the mason jars with the flowers in it, that one was for them. And that was last year's shirt. And this, this year they have a mason jar with the patriotic stuff in it. And it's just one mason jar, but it's really cute. They changed the design this year. So, but they're all the time getting new shirts in and I'm like, oh, well, they're all so cute. Okay, they have a lot of gnome shirts. So these are Dollar Tree stars. I've got three of them and I've painted them all with my plaster. Let me get that corner right there because I was holding it with my thumb. All right, where's my water? All right, so now we're gonna dry them. And one coat's really gonna all I need for this because they, um, <clears throat> it covers so well. Oh, Brenda, you have several. You love them. I know. I love them, too. They're awesome. You can't beat the price. You got the Western-looking cross t-shirt. Very pretty in person. Yeah, they had some that had glitter at Christmas and stuff in there. Um, had glitter in the actual screen print, and it was beautiful. I got one that says, not perfect, just forgiven. I think y'all probably seen that one. It's a long sleeve. Uh, Debbie, I've got three of these uh, Dollar Tree wood stars, and I've painted them with my plaster, um, plaster, Waverly plaster paint. And that's as far as I've gotten. I'm making like a door hanger with these three things. Ten days in October, all the little towns in the county have been there. That sounds fun, Indiana. That's a long way, but that sounds really fun. Vicky is just, it's Beware Sportswear, but their website is beware.com. 45, Sue. Oh my goodness, you have 45 of their shirts? That's awesome. But I love them. I live in t-shirts, guys. This is, if you see me out somewhere, this is probably what I'm going to have on as a t-shirt. Because I live in t-shirts. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Elaine. You're so sweet. Thank you for being here. Hey, Shawnee and Jackie. All right, got this one just about dry. So I'm gonna do the crackle technique. Um, I've done it before. Well, Beth, you plan on sitting there and hanging out for a little while because they got a lot of stuff that I like that I love, and I know you'll like it too. This really cute stuff. Um, they got summer shirts, camping shirts, uh, inspirational shirts. They got all kinds of stuff. Um, it's, it's pinned at the bottom, beware.com. It's Beware Sportswear that I've talked about in the past. Have to be, does it have to be plaster? No, you can use white. This is just the color plaster. I didn't want it just stark white. Because um, I'm kind of going for that kind of rustic Americana look. I didn't really want it to be, hey, Stephanie, hey, Judy. I didn't want it to be um, just bright white. But you can do this however you want to. Debbie, I live in Hernando, Mississippi, which is right south of Memphis. I can be in Memphis in 15 minutes. Like over the Tennessee line. <clears throat> okay. Yes, beware.com. Alright. So I'm doing crackle. I, don't, I think some of y'all have tried the crackle before. Um... I probably need to take care of that. Yeah, just let it go. <laughs> uh, oh, somebody's asking if they're in Indiana. Hey, Donita from the, is it Donita from Nebraska? Welcome, welcome. Sue, I've never gotten their hoodies, but I, I need to get some when the when it gets winter again. Hey, Deborah, welcome. And Joy from Ohio and Joanne. All right, I got them about dry. This is all tricky because just about time you think it's dry and then you take your the heat off and it starts shiny again. I'm like, oh. Hey, Linda and Karen. So, yeah, we didn't have any. Luckily, I took a bath last night. I took a shower. I didn't wash my hair. And I was out here working and I said, well, I'm going to go in and take a shower. And we have like a little group neighborhood um, little text uh, thing. Somebody said, do y'all not have any water? And I was like, oh, no. But anyway, it worked. I went around and I just put a hat on and put my makeup on. I was good. <clears throat> I 
I know, BJ, I like the crackle too. And you know, and for some things it's appropriate. And I think this is one of those things that's gonna look really good, but I need to dry this real, real well. The hoodies are great. Okay, thanks for telling me that. Cause um, I, I, I mean, I have no doubt that they would be anyway. Regina saying, hey, Tanya. Yeah, Tanya with the Hummingbird Painery. She's on. Y'all go check out her page. She's a sweet friend. She's local to me. She's up in Memphis. Yes, Nancy, they are true to size. Anita, hey, Cindy. I haven't gotten anything from them that I don't like. <clears throat> but if you're just like a t-shirt girl like me, it's perfect. Because their prices, you cannot beat the prices. And plus, they're giving you 20% off the already price they have is like oh my gosh it's a no-brainer knee surgery is kicking your butt today oh judy that's right you had knee surgery hope you're doing well okay i think they're about dry because i just want to make sure they're good and dry before i put this stuff on them now if you don't have the crackle stuff i have crackle medium because i was crazy and bought this big bottle like i thought i was going to use this whole bottle um i probably won't use this whole bottle in 10 years because I've had it for a couple of years and you see that's all I've used out of it. <laughs> so if you don't have the crackle, don't worry because you can use white school glue. It'll do the exact same thing. Um, it'll do the exact same thing. So don't don't worry if you don't have it because you don't have to go buy it. You just get you some Dollar Tree school glue and you'll be the same. Okay, all right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna work on my top one because my top one is going to be, and the sides aren't dry, but we're good. We'll be okay. Um, this side, this shirt is extra large. I like, I don't like mine to fit it. I don't like it sticking to me, um, but I, I have an extra large and they don't shrink or anything like that. Hey Maddie. Okay, so the top, top star, I know I shouldn't have put this paper on here because now y'all can't see. But you'll be able to see it in a minute. <laughs> Once we get to painting it, I didn't even think about it being the same color as the paper, but it look, it's the same color. Hey, Jerry. Okay. Hey, Kelly. All right, so my crackle. I'm going to um, paint some. So I dry my paint. Okay, this is where I get confused, and I have to read the instructions every single time. I promise. It just won't stick up here. Um... So I think the trick to this is, is you have to put it on pretty thick, okay? Don't, don't be thin with it. I think that's the trick to getting your, getting big crackles. So I'm just going to, it's just clear. It goes on clear. And I am just going to give it a real thick, hefty coat to all of my pieces. Let's see. So if you can see it, see how it's just shiny, but it's just clear. But I'm, I'm doing it pretty thick. That's the only drawback is that we have to wait for it to dry, which I can help it along a little bit with my heat tool, but I don't, but we got three of them to do. Oh, Dee Dee, I saw a couple of the flags. Was yours one of the ones that I saw? Because I've seen a few of the flags, but that was such a fun project, that flag. And it got so much response. I was like, oh my goodness. Everybody just loved it. And I was real skeptical how it was going to turn out. Okay, so I don't know if y'all can see, but it's pretty, I mean, I've got it on there pretty thick, okay? So I'm just going to set it over here to the side, and we're going to go on with the other ones while I sit here and talk to y'all. <clears throat> you know what? Why don't I try, oh, I don't want to do that, though. I thought about something, and I thought, no, maybe, maybe, I don't know, I better not. <laughs> so I'm just, like I said, I'm just giving it a big helping of this crackle medium. It's, it kind of looks like uh, the clear glue, the clear school glue is what it looks like. It's just, it's just clear. It can't, doesn't even have a color to it. Oh, thank you, Margie. You're so sweet. Y'all are just so sweet to me, I promise. Y'all make my day every day. About out again. I might use a good bit on this project tonight. <laughs> hey, Ray. All right. 
So I'm just, like I said, I'm slathering it on pretty thick. Is that a word? Slather? Y'all know what that means. I'm just slathering it on. Oh, no, I didn't win DIY Hero. They sent me some stuff. That's where the hat came from. See, I got that one covered. I know y'all can't see it, but you can see the reflection. It's all nice and shiny. Slathered it on. Okay. I gotta have more. Y'all, I might use a good bit of this tonight. Still not even half. Oh, Noelle made her a flag, too. I, I think it was really fun, and... Um, Everybody seemed to like it, and I was just, like, really shocked because I was worried about how it was going to turn out. I'm worried about how this is going to turn out, too, but I think it's going to be okay. As long as my crackle works, I'll be happy. This is just crackle medium, but you can use just regular old school glue. Um, I've done it both ways, and since I just have the crackle medium, I'm just using it. But um, I have used school glue before, but you need to put it on pretty thick okay so I've got all this on here pretty thick see it's shiny too I feel like it would run off if I let it all right so let me all right so the bottle says base coat your surface let dry apply medium which is this let dry and then apply a contrasting top coat and that's what that is. But like I said, if you don't have that, don't think that you have to go buy it because this will crackle the same way. Um, <clears throat> I don't know who won because it, was it wasn't any of us. I think me and Christy were the last ones in from you know, Facebook crafters. Um, Charlie, I can't wait either. <laughs> I just hope it turns good. Oh, Mary, you ordered two shirts. Awesome. So if y'all are just hopping on, uh, my shirt, I, I buy a lot of shirts from Beware Sportswear, and um, I finally talk, got to talk to them today, and they have given me a promo code for my followers, so that if you go to their website and order, be sure to put the promo code when you go to check out, it's TTV20, and you'll get an extra 20% off of their already prices that are just low, like, their, their uh, shirts are really, really inexpensive, and you'll get an extra 20% off of that. And I was like, wow, that's nice. Because so many of y'all have um, have ordered and it has, has mentioned me. And so I got to talk to them today. Hey, Catherine. Hey, everybody. If I've missed your comment, I'm so sorry. Hey, Diane. I try to see them all, but, you know, it's really hard. I think so, Kathy, yes. You put your glue on pretty heavy. If you want big cracks, you put your glue on pretty heavy. I did a, let's see, what did I do? I did a video last year, I think, a little short video of the school glue. It may have been on TikTok. I can't remember. Thank you, Jackie. Y'all are hanging in with me. Jill, I've only crackled on wood, but I don't see why you couldn't. I think it would work pretty much on anything. That's that's something I need to figure out, but I, I think you could do it on metal. Oh, Nancy was $7.83. Awesome, plus shipping. That's awesome. And their t-shirts, I'm telling you, they're good quality t-shirts. Yes, they are true to size. They are in the USA. They are in Ohio. They're a family-based business. Um, and they're like jerseys, th that kind of brand t-shirt. So, yes. All right, y'all, it's dry. But, you know, the thicker I put it on, the longer it takes dry. Yes, Tammy, you can let the glue dry. You can even let it get to where it's almost dry. Like, not quite all the way dry. Hey, Heidi, I see you. Okay, this makes me sweat, y'all. I'm just gonna say. <laughs> yeah, we see your comments. Hey, Nancy Simpson, you're okay. You're here. Thank you for being here. Didn't I crack all the metal walls concert Christmas? You know, I think I did. But for some reason, 
I want to say it didn't it didn't work for some reason I can't remember why though I don't remember if, if I didn't put the base coat right um, so but yeah these t-shirts somebody said like China these t-shirts are like the brands that you know and you wear t-shirts like jerseys Bella canvas that kind of brands that you already know Okay, so you've tried Crackle and you hadn't had any success. Did you put it on really thick? Sue gets hers in five days. Thank you, Marsha. It's from Beware Sportswear. That's what that code down at the bottom is, and you can get an additional 20% off with that code. No, Sharon, you do it the same way. You're just going to paint on your glue just like I painted that on, and then you're gonna let it dry and then paint over the top. It's almost dry. And these two, I'm gonna be working on this one, and these two over here can be drying. Hey, Terry. Hey, Kelly. Sorry, y'all, watching Crackle stuff dry. I forgot how long it takes, but. Trying not to get it too hot and cook my Crackle. Hey, Leela, is it Lila? Leela? Now, Mod Podge, I've heard people using Mod Podge, too, and it crackles. Hey, Maria from Massachusetts and Valerie. I'm good. How are you? Thank you for being here. Yeah, I thought about switching to a hair dryer. My shirt is an extra large. So, I mean, I got room in mine, but, you know. And they're just regular shirts. They're not the little slim fitting, you know, they're not those. It's regular t-shirts. I'm not ready to call this a day. You like my flag? Yeah, I just threw it up there right before I came live. I was like, oh, I better put that back there. Right, Jean? It does. I love a t-shirt. That's what I wear 90% of the time. Give me a good a good t-shirt any day. When the glue dries, it shrinks. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've done it to where I've gotten it almost dry. Um, but I think we're going to let work on this one while these over here are drying. It's almost dry. I'm sorry, guys. I know it's taking forever. I forgot how long it takes to dry. Don't cook my crackle, Sherry said. Don't cook the crackle. Trying. I think these are drying faster than this one is. But it's pretty dry. It's just got some spots. Yeah, they're pretty thick shirts. They're not, you know, they're not thin at all. I like them. Um, the crackle, I don't know if I got it from Amazon or Hobby Lobby. I don't have a sticker. But you see how much I've used of it. And I'll probably never use that whole bottle. But you can use school glue. It'll work just as good. But this Americana, I just kind of thought this would give it an extra little something something. Hey, Mary, you too. Hey, Anita from Dallas. Almost there, guys. I promise. Rocking the club membership. <laughs> Marsha, I'm going to make a door hanger when this eventually dries. Um, with these three Dollar Tree stars, I'm going to hang them like one, two, three. And we're going to paint them all different, kind of like a flag sort of thing. Teresa, you're okay? We're just watching Crackle stuff dry right now. <laughs> yeah, Hobby Lobby has it. Um, Michael's, Joann's, they should all have it. Amazon has it. Um, but you can use this. Or somebody said Mod Podge. You can let that dry. Hey, Ellen. You're so sweet. All right. Dry, 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 dry. It's just a couple of little spots that will not dry. I need a little fan, don't I? Yes, Ruby, they are. I love them. Yeah, so like Lori just said, experiment on a piece of wood or something else, you know, just a scrap piece. And just kind of get the feel for how it does and how thick you need it before you use it on a project. Hey, Susan from Canada. 
but I think Mod Podge will do it too. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and work on this piece. And we're going to let them do their thing. They're almost dry. Okay, so the first one, the top, this is going to be my top star. Um, I'm going to do it, of course, we're going to do it navy blue. <laughs> like we did the, that same, um, hey, Teresa, I'm good. Thank you for the prayers. Um, the longer it takes to dry, the longer y'all want to spend with me. You got your crackle from Michael's, Twyla said. Okay, so Michael's has it. All right, so this is my English navy. I showed it to you the other night. I used it on those beads that look like blueberries. Um, so I'm going to attempt, we're going to attempt to do this. Because I'm hoping that I can get this covered. Because truth be known, I've seen people do it several ways. I've always been told, oh, you don't want to go back and forth. With your, crack, with your paint on top of the crackle. You just want to do one sw swoop. But I've seen people do it. So I don't know if um, if that's true or not. Sue, I said, somebody asked about this sunflower. That's been maybe a couple of weeks ago. I did a video. It's a little Dollar Tree um, little stand. And I just tied the, flower, the, 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 uh, the fabric to it. That was a fun one. Okay. So, here we go. Y'all, this is a paintbrush is very well loved and kind of mistreated, but it's been around a long time. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm going to start. I'm just hoping that I can get it covered because y'all know I'm going over white with navy. And I know they say you're not supposed to go back and forth, and I can kind of see why, I guess. But it's going to look streaky, and I guess that's going to have to be okay. Because once, you know, I can't do two coats. Because once you crackle, um, once you get it all crackled, you don't want to paint back over your crackles. So I'm going to try my best. But I want it to look distressed anyway. So we're going to see. And I'm just loading my paint up on here. I'm not... Not being uh, easy with it. It's got a glop of something in it. Uh-oh. See, I just went back over that spot. And it ain't, it's not wanting to do what I want it to do. But anyway, so I'm hoping this is going to work. Because because I can't make two coats, you know, I've only got one shot at it pretty much. You just you only got one chance. I just took off some paint and crackle. All right, it's starting to do something. I mean, it starts happening right before your eyes. Like, it starts drying, and then that's when the crackling starts. So it's pretty amazing. I just hope that this navy is going to do what I want it to do. Okay. Because I really can't, you can't go back over it. So I'm going to show it to y'all because it's already starting to do its thing. And it's it's kind of crackling like um, in straight lines. It's funny. But it's, I mean, it's crackling. See all those crackles? Isn't that cool? It's got that white underneath there. So I'm just going to tap, tap, tap my edges a little bit. So I'm sorry if I'm not seeing comments. I'm sorry. So I'm just gonna go around my edge and get it blue. Oh, it looks so cool. I'm always just shocked every time when I do this crackle and it turns out so good. You're just so surprised. Can y'all see it? I do like the streaky, except for that big glob in the middle, but oh well, it'll be okay. But you see why I can't do two coats. Look how cool that looks. So it's, it gives it a little bit of texture to it, to me. It looks really cool. Okay. So now, let me put my paintbrush over here. And this will help it along. If you sit there and dry it, it will start crackling really quickly. So I did it really thick 
And I think that's the key to it. I think you have to do it real, real thick. Yeah, Sherry. So whatever, like Sherry just said, however you paint it up and down or side to side, that's the way it's going to crackle. It looks really cool. Except the, I, I touched my paintbrush on it and got that big blob of paint. It took off paint and then I added paint back, so I'm trying to get it to do something, but I don't think it is. But it's okay. This looks really cool. So some of it's darker blue, some of it's light blue. Y'all see how that looks? That looks really neat. It almost looks like blue jean, doesn't it? That looks so cool. Oh my goodness, it looks so cool. Okay, so I'm gonna set this one to the side. Now these two are gonna be a little different story because I gotta work on them a little bit because I'm not just gonna paint them solid. Y'all know we gotta have some stripes involved. Okay, let me get all this blue off my table, off my hands. That blue looks so cool. All right, so I'm sorry, I'm drying again, guys. Oh, you're so sweet to say that. I know it. I do try to catch the comments and I try to craft at the same time. And a lot of people ask me, how in the world do you do that? How do you keep up with it and try to... Uh, the stars are from Dollar Tree. Um, but I guess just over time of two years of doing this and I started with just a few little people on and then now I have so many, I try to you know, keep up with it. I know I miss a lot. Cause you know, I look down, I look up and 20 comments have been gone by. Um, oh, I missed a spot of blue, probably on the edge where I was holding it. Yeah, it does have like a denim look. Oh, it's so cool. Turned out super cool. And now, I was gonna do something else to it, but I'm kind of debating on leaving it like that. Oh, some, something happened to somebody. I'm so sorry, whatever it is. The coolest cup. I've had this for a while. It's all faded. It's that Lily Pulitzer stuff, but it's all faded. The twins went to bed just in time to watch. Oh, Renee, I'm so sorry. Something happened to Renee. I'm so sorry, whatever it is. We'll be praying for you. It's terrible, whatever it is. Any kind of loss is bad. Okay. Y'all, I gotta get this really good and dry. I'm sorry. See, I, if I was not live, I would just walk away and let it dry on its own. But I'm impatient too, so I don't know if I would be or not. There's Mandy with Western Grace Home Decor and Design. I never can see her comment. I just see her, her page name and I'm like, because it's so long, I guess it doesn't show me the whole comment for some, some reason. Mandy, check out this crackle. Check this out. That is super cool. I don't think I've ever crackled anything that good. But I put it on super thick. And I'm hoping my red does the same way. Oh, I have the coolest cups. Thank you. And I'm really not a cup hoarder at all. I painted the star plaster. And then, so whatever you want to come through the cracks, that's what you paint first. So if you got a dark color on top, you want something light on the bottom. It does Becky acid wash blue jeans. I'm sorry, y'all, this is taking forever. I'm drying the crack. The crackle medium, that's what I'm drying. And I've got to get this dry good because I'm going to tape off some stripes. So I want it dry real, real good. And I still see some shiny spots. It's almost there, y'all. I'm sorry. A lot of drying and painting. <laughs> it is a great crackle. Get it, y'all. I just can't stand how good that looks. With some apple barrel navy paint. <laughs> looks cool. So yeah, I did the plaster, and then I just did the crackle, and then I did this on the top. English Navy. Come on, come on, dry, dry, dry. Cause we're gonna do these at the same time. 
because I'm going to hang the blue one at the top and then we're going to hang the other two directly below it like a whole long door thing. <laughs> the look on my face was, was cute. <laughs> um, Lynn, I have heard that Mod Podge works too. So Mod Podge to me is kind of like school blue. But school glue will work too if you don't have um, if you don't have any um, crackle. Don't worry about it. Use you some some dollar twenty uh, four, five quarter glue from the five quarter store. <laughs> oh no, Claudio! You be careful of tornadoes. Goodness gracious! What color was the blue paint? English navy. Let's see if I can get it to focus. From Walmart, Apple Barrel. English Navy and you can do white under it. I just want my white stripes to be so white. I use crackle medium And I'm sure Amazon has it. I know Hobby Lobby does but the glue the school glue will work just as good, but I've got a Whole bunch of it. So I decided to use it <laughs> Oh Leslie beware is close to where you live. Yeah, they're in Ohio. Okay, so I'm painting, painted it all plaster, did the crackle, it's almost dry, but I'm scared my tape's gonna pull it up. That's why I'm trying to get it all the way. Thank you, Nancy. I know I'm boring y'all watching y'all stuff, watching stuff dry, but if I don't get it dry, I'm scared it's gonna pull it up. Okay. All right. So now this is this. I know y'all. I, I didn't even think about this table paper being the same color as these. But so they're gonna hang like this, okay? Like that. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tape off. So it's gonna be blue, red, and white stripes, red and white stripes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stack. I know y'all probably can't see it, but I'm putting my stars right on top of each other, just like. They're going to be, but of course, they're not, um, they're not going to be touching, but I want to put them together so that when I put my tape on, I can just put one whole piece of tape. This may be an epic fail, but we're going to try. Um, you let the paint dry, then you let the crackle dry, and then you paint the top coat. Okay, so I just, I have painter's tape. Use whatever you have. Um... And I'm just going to try to tape this off the, whoop, without, like, like that, moving it around. Like I said, this may be an epic fail. I just tape it to the table, right? Okay. So, I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm not even going to put a piece in the middle and all that stuff. So, I'm just going to pull my tape all the way out. Making sure I... Got it straight for the most part. But you can use masking tape probably. Cutting boards in the craft section at Walmart. No, I haven't seen those. Okay. So I'm just putting my tape all the way down. So this will just make it easier and my stripes will kind of be the same. I'm just trying to eyeball the space between the, the tape. You can put a piece of tape in between, kind of like when you paint buffalo check. 89 today. Whoa, it was 93 today. 93 or 94 today here, and that's very unusual for us. Hey, Angela. Okay, let's see. Here, here, here. All right. So, do y'all see what I've got now? My stars are under there. So, let me show y'all my crackle one. It's almost dry completely, but look how cool that is. Except for that big hunk of paint right in the middle, but it really looks cool, though. I love that. Okay. I couldn't ask for that to be any better. All right. So, I painted the plaster on these. Then, I let that dry. And then, I put my crackle, and I dried the crackle. Now, we're going to do the red. And I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. But... The other night on that, I used 
country red, that color. And I think I'm gonna go with, this is Tuscan red. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the Tuscan this time and see. It snowed in Utah, oh my gosh. And it's 90 something here today, that's insane. Um, so like I said, when I paint this on, I really only got one shot because you can't, you see what happens when you go back over it. That's what happened here. I've painted it and took off some of the crackle and then I tried to dab some back on and it doesn't crackle. So learn from what I did. Paint white lines of blue. Oh, I could do that on the blue. I could do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure my tape is down good. And if it bleeds a little bit, it'll be okay. I'm not gonna be upset about it because I want it to look imperfect. Barn red. Thought I had barn red, but I don't. Tuscan red. Okay, so there's my Tuscan red. All right, here we go, folks. <laughs> oh, this paintbrush has got a little crunchy there. I need to get some conditioner. 72, 72 degrees up north. That's perfect. Jamie, I am at the very top of Mississippi, the, the west tip of Mississippi, top. Okay, so now here we go. <laughs> I'm scared. Because <laughs> like the blue, I got to I only have one shot at it. And of course, I've already got it clumped on the edge. All right, so far, so good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I hadn't tore it up yet. I got some clumps in it. Oh, you've, you've used Mod... Jenny said she's used Mod Podge and it works. So if you got Mod Podge, practice on something first, like somebody else said. Just do a practice run on a scrap piece of wood or an old Dollar Tree sign or something, the back of it. You know, just give it a try and see what happens. Oh, it's cracking. It's cracking. Because it's drying that fast. It looks so good. I want it to turn out so good. I'll probably hang this on my door for Memorial Day or 4th of July, all summer. Yo, it's crackling, it looks so good. Gale winds, oh my goodness. I wonder where that's coming from. Crazy weather. Okay, let's see. This is gonna be the pretty red. And it doesn't, it covers better than that blue did, but I love the way the blue turned out, so I can't really complain. Okay. I just hope it stays stays on my, um, whoops. Stays out of the, under the tape. And I know you're thinking, well, why did she paint the whole thing with crackle if she didn't want, she wasn't going to crackle the white part? Well, the reason I did that is because I can't heat this tape up at all. Because once I heat the tape up, it's going to, you know, the tape will crinkle up. And so there wouldn't be any point in the tape. Okay, so now I'm going to, did I do it all? Yes, I did. Oh, y'all, this is going to look so cool. Cannot wait for you to see it. It's already starting to crackle. It's crackling so good, too. <laughs> yeah, Ron is like, it's crackling. It's crackling. It doesn't take much to amuse me, I promise. As y'all, If y'all didn't already know that, it doesn't take much to, to amuse me. <laughs> I'm just impressed. 98 in Dallas. Oh, gosh. Oh, I just stuck my finger down on the white part and got red on it. But I can get it off. Just having to be careful. I don't want to get this red paint anywhere else. I'll get that off. So now y'all see why I lined them up and oh, it looks so pretty. 
I just love, I would love to do a piece of furniture like this. Here in Minnesota, tornado warnings. Oh, please be careful. Goodness gracious. I don't like tornadoes, especially at night. It's worse when it's at nighttime. Okay. All right, y'all ready to see it? <laughs> it looks so cool. Look. That is so neat. It just amazes me every time. I'm just so amazed. Look at it dry. You got red paint on the edges and you know, get all that dry, but it looks so pretty. Oh my goodness. So, so cool. Got it on the edges. I'm trying to get it off. So here's this one. It looks so cool. It's amazing. And I know what it's going to look like when I do it, but it still amazes me every single time. <laughs> it just looks like old Americana. But see, I got that red blob right there. I got to fix. It's trying to get it dry on the edges right here. Where I kind of lapped over the edges. I like it. I kind of like it holding it sideways like this. I think it looks really cool. Uh, it just looks better than I wanted it to. You know, I love it when that happens. Okay, so I'm going to try my best not to get that on me, but to get to get this off where I got it in the white. If I cannot get any more on there. Oh yeah. See, that's Crackle stuff's kind of like a sealer, so it just it's just kind of wiping right off of there. It's just where I touched it with my finger. I don't want to get that on my arm. Okay, I got it off. I got it off. Yay! Look how cool this looks. So this is what I was I want to do. I want to hang it like this. But like I said, try. Now I got it all over my hand. Hold on. I'm gonna just I'm gonna do this right here because you know how it goes over the edge and you get a big glob of paint that's where it's coming from now the edges are pink <laughs> it's okay anyway um this looks so cool look at it oh I just cannot even get over that but I want to do a piece of furniture like a whole a whole piece of furniture like that, I think it would be the coolest thing to crack all a piece of furniture. Or even just the top of something. I think it would be beautiful. Okay, so y'all tell me what I wanted to do with this is I didn't I didn't know it was going to crackle this much. But I'm so glad it did because I think it looks really cool. Is I was going to stencil some stars on here. I have this stencil and I've already... This stencil that I've had forever in a lifetime, scrapbook days. Um, see those little stars? And I even taped off the tiny ones. I just was going to put them on here and stencil them on. But y'all, I don't know if I need to. I think that looks really cool. USA on the star. Yeah, you could. Oh, that would be cool too. USA. Um, I have this idea that I have a little tag. I was going to hang off and put USA on it. But I don't think I need to do, um, do y'all think I need to do stars or no? Sue just ordered her some shirts. Yay! Uh-oh, somebody didn't get their text. I'm sorry, I sent one. I don't know. Hot glue jute around the sides. It might look nice. Oh, yeah, that would be cool. That might take a while. But, yeah, that would look really cool. Like, So, I was going to do white stars, like stencil, stencil them on. Oh, Corby, that would look really awesome. Practice a lot first, though. Because um, I think different paint crackles differently. I, I don't mark my word on that, but I think it does. See, I think so, too. I think if I put stars on it, I think it's going to take away from the crackle. But y'all tell me what y'all think without stars. Well, I didn't really do anything but paint. <laughs> but um, 
I think I'm going to, and I gotta show you how we're gonna put it together. Because my first thought was, is I'm gonna get my husband to drill a hole at the bottom and tie it with, with jute. Because you know, they already have a hole in the top up here. But, um, yeah, I have the wooden stars from the other night. Y'all, do y'all think it would take away from them? Take away from it if I, I have these. They're from Christmas at the Dollar Tree. Um, so should I put those on here? I was thinking about maybe putting, because I got them out today and I said, well, I could put those on there. Um, Stars will take away from the beautiful crackle job. I know, I think it's so pretty. See, I could put like this one, I could put on like five or six of them on there. Blue star, okay. So y'all ponder on that and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna put them together. Cause I'm gonna probably put something at the top, a little tag or something. Okay, so I thought about drilling a hole and I thought, well, the easier way to do this would be to attach it with ribbon. So let's see. I'm gonna set one of these to the side over here. I'm gonna lay this face down and I'm gonna put my, one of my striped ones face down. Okay, so I've got, you can use any ribbon. This is just the easy way to do this. You could use jute, you could use burlap, whatever. You can use whatever you want to. I'm gonna use this burlap ribbon stuff that I have. I think it's Michael's, I don't know, some kind of little ribbon. Just a big old patriotic bow. Um, okay, and I'm just going to put a, some glue and find my little thing of rebobber so I won't burn myself. Stars on each point. I like the stars. It might be one of those things where... Like I tell you all the time, I sleep on it and then I'll come back to it and decide what to do. Um, no on the stars, a tag will pick. I might put a little tag, I got these tags. Have y'all seen these at the Dollar Tree, the little metal tags? I got that, I was gonna do something to that and hang it off of it and like put um, USA or something on it. Okay, so I've got my my glue and my little ribbon here, and that's how I'm attaching it. And this is just the easy way to do it without having to drill a hole. But and we'll see if this holds up in the Mississippi heat, but I may hang it on the inside. White edges on the, do you know you have white edges on the blue star? Yes, I gotta go back and, and touch them up. Yes, thank you though. I would put USA on each, but y'all my handwriting is terrible. It'll look like a preschooler did it, I promise. All right, so let's cut that. And if you wanted to make sure it was extra secure, you could put a piece across it like this. Let's just do that. That way I can show you. And it's kind of like a double, double thing. Double layer, a tag and a bow. I got some fabric over here that I was gonna make like a little, a little bow out of, so we'll see. Cause I don't know how big a one I'm gonna put. No to the stars, Mary said. Yeah, I, want, I like the little tag, but cause I'm telling y'all, I cannot write anything. And my Cricut's down there on a shelf somewhere. <laughs> it's got dust on top of it. <gasps> my eyes seem to have allergic, I always have allergy rings under my eyes. I always have my whole life. Um, because, yes, I do have bad allergies. Oh, that's a good idea, Denise. She said put three white stars and put USA. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Let me make sure it's good before I pick it up. Because y'all know I'll, I'm famous for picking something up and it falling apart. Um, look how pretty this is. Ooh, I've got glue strings, glue stuff everywhere. Look how cute. I love it so far. So now i got to attach the bottom one and get my distance right. Okay, I'm making sure my stripes are all going up and down. <laughs> but I got a hole, there's a hole in the top of each star. So that kind of, I was like, oh, did I get my stars, my stripes all straight? So now let me get my ribbon. 
Oh, that would be cool if you did um, the USA with some rope. That would be cool, too. That, I don't know if I could get it to look right. Yes, Lori, I could. I could cut me out some USA with my laser. I sure could. Messy bow at the top of each star. Oh, that would be cool, too. And you know what would be cool? If we put ribbon in between um, each one of these, we could tie some, like, fabric or something on there. So I'm making sure that the space between the top one and the second one is about the same as the second and the third one because I don't want it to look funny. So we'll put that here. I thought I was going to have to be stenciling stars and stenciling is not my forte, but I was going to give it a whirl. Any button stars? I don't have any buttons that are stars. Marcia, you're going to copy this. Hope you find the stars, right? You know how it goes with Dollar Tree. You might get it and then you might not, but I hope you do. You like it, Rhonda? All right. So we'll see if this holds up in the Mississippi heat, but I may not put it outside. It may just go inside. On my back. Oh, that's hot. Back door. Did y'all see me jerk away that fast? <laughs> it's hot. Yeah, I was going to use my stamp for my letters on my tag. Okay. Let that get good and, good and set up because I'll pick it up. It's going to fall down. So I got to tie something at the top. Voila! That looks so cool. But see, we could also tie some fabric in between here and let it stick out. I got to do something about that hole, though. But how stinking cute and the crackle is awesome. Oh, is that? That is so cool. So see, can't you see this hanging on a door? But I agree, USA would be really cool on there. Um, how did I get it to crackle? Is that what somebody says? I use this. And, um, or you can use school glue. Do the same thing, or Mod Podge. Somebody said Mod Podge works. So yeah, they've sat here and watched me dry all this stuff for all this time. So I thought about hanging, um, let's see. Oh, I don't want that jute. I got 10 different kinds of jute over here. I'm not like Mandy now. Mandy has this big old honking, poof, this big thing of rope that she has. If y'all saw it, y'all know what I'm talking about. It's hilarious. Um, and I'm over here with my little spool my little junior spool of jute. And there's blue paint in that hole and it's just got on my jute. There we go. So the end of my, my jute is blue. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. Thank y'all very much. Okay, so let's see. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do this tag. Let me slide this off. This is almost too big to show all of y'all. You can use any tag. Um, I got these. There's three in here, it says. And they're galvanized metal. Um, and I have the little tag, the little uh, jute with it. And I cut out, here it is, before I came on. I want to say that's going to be too big, but I'm going to cut it just a little. Let's do this. I'm going to ravel it. I just cut some of that material that y'all know that I love so much. I use all the time. Somebody told us what it was called and I forgot. <laughs> it's from Hobby Lobby back there and all that utility fabric. And I don't know what the name of it is. I just liked it, so I just got it. Yeah, fill the holes with paint and glue. That's what I glue and then paint. That's what I should have done. I didn't even think about it. Hobby Lotters, Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby Letters. Whoa, that's a mouthful. It would be too big. I'm trying to ravel this and make it a little bit smaller. But I just tore it because I wanted that ravelly edge. Ravelly edge, is that a word? I'm going to cut off some of my ravelly edge. All right. So I think I'm going to stamp on my fabric. I'm going to put my little piece of fabric. Y'all really can't see. Um, and put it on the tag. Stamp it and then put it on the tag where it kind of hangs like this. Muslim. Yeah, it was some weird name though, but that's what it's like. It's almost like it's not duck cloth. 
it's not that thick. But I love it. A blue star in the middle. That would be pretty. Okay. Let me put this paint in the trash because I'm going to get it all over me. Oop. All right. So I need U-S-A. So these are my little alphabet stamps that I show y'all all the time from Michaels. I think that's where I got them was Michaels. But Hobby Lobby did have them. They're just like typewriter type. Blue Star. Where do I find the video of the petal flowers? It's on, if you go on my main page, um, that one back here, it, um, you should be able to find it there. No material to the tag. I don't think I can stamp on that though. I don't think it's gonna adhere to it. Okay. U.S. A. Okay. Now, should I use my new stamps or should I do it black? A rag boat. Yes, I got some material to make one. It looks like a military dog. Oh, that's kind of cool. Never thought about that. So I got these at Pop Shelf, kind of like a glorified Dollar General. But I have red and I have gold and then black. So we're gonna try them. Um, pop shelf, Marianne, and this is blue. So I was wondering, should I do like red, gold, blue, unbleached domestic? That might be it. The flowers are cute too. Okay, let's see. What, I'm gonna see what this looks like. Ooh, no, no. This is way too blue. It's like a. Look at that blue. That's that's too blue. So let's see what the red looks like. Yeah, it needs to be permanent and I don't know. Okay, the red's okay, it's red. Let's see what this black one says. Mod Podge on the tag to get the paint to stick. Hybrid ink pad. Fast dry and waterproof. I don't know. Red would be cool. I think red would be cool too, but y'all don't like the fabric? Red for the letters. I'm gonna just do it first on here on the fabric and see if we like it. <laughs> Janet's like, where you been all my life? Welcome, Janet. I've been right here. I've been right here. Thank you for being here and watching. Gold. All right, let's see what the gold looks like. Let's see what the gold looks like. Ooh, I don't know if it would show up really good on that fabric, but yeah. Look at that. That was worth $2 for them things. I don't know if it's gonna show up though. And I don't know if it'll show up on the silver either, but I like that, that stamp. Okay, so let's try the red. <laughs> Getting it everywhere. Let's see what it's gonna look like. I've got my, my little acrylic block that y'all ask me about all the time. So you can see through there what it's gonna look. But you could stamp freedom, you could stamp glory, you could stamp anything on here. Oh, it looks good. I wish I had a little star. That's what I need. I need a little star. Um little stamp and I might have one let's see I do but where is it see it has different little um little hearts and numbers but the star is not there but there's a little star let's use a little star okay so I'm gonna put some gold on him let's see what it looks like got it all over the place okay Uh, it don't show up really good, but I'll, let me put another one and I'll show you. It doesn't show up good on this fabric, but it's pretty. Whoop. No. 
He just jumped overboard. <laughs> Stop! Stay there. Okay. Ah, he's cute. He shows up a little bit. up a little bit. See the little stars? They're okay. But look at <laughs> Tanya, these came these stamps came from um Pop Shelf. I'm using my little stamp pads. Tanya went to Pop Shelf too. Okay. Oh, where's my star? I gotta get him over here with the rest of the bunch and wipe this off. I gotta clean them because they're not wanting to stick as good as they used to stick. They cling to this little block and that's how you line them all up. <laughs> Robin, what do you think I've been on here forever? Feels like I have. Okay, so here's my tag. Um, fabric only glued to wood, no metal. I kind of like the silver. You don't like the silver? I mean, I've got, let's see. It's amazing that I know where stuff is, but sometimes it's, sometimes I don't know where stuff is, but I thought I had tags right here, but I don't. I hit some this one. Right down here in the front. Yes, it's this one. Got a white tag. Y'all like the white better? Looks cool, doesn't it? Looks so cool. If you purposely mess up the registration, you'll give the stars a shadow. The clear block. Um, I got it from Michaels, I think, or Hobby Lobby, but I know Amazon. They're called a clear acrylic stamping block, is what you call this. And it has lines in it to where you can see where you can line up your stamps. Okay, so y'all think white tag? It's a little bit bigger, or the silver with my little muslin on them, muslin stuff on it. No metal. I like the metal tag. Well, I can always make it, and then I can always take this off. The white tag's too big. I agree. I'm going to just put this on here, because I can always heat this up and take it right back off. But it may be one of those things where I sleep on it um, and just think about it tomorrow because I do that a lot. And hang this here and maybe put some stuff at the top. See, they look cute. I think the white tag, I think the white tag's too big too. I, these are Hobby Lobby, I think the wedding section. But look how cute. But yes, I'm gonna, I need to put something up here, like um, like the um, uh, some fabric or my poor little stencil. I had it all ready and I didn't even get to use it because it crackled so good. I didn't expect it to crackle that well. Metal with a fabric tag. Okay, oh, trying to get everything out of my way. I got so much stuff. Um, I've got what's left from the other night, you know, I told y'all I would save it. Um, but I just really wasn't expecting this to, cr to crackle this good. So I was kind of shocked. But I did it really thick. So <laughs> I think that's the key. So y'all think a, a real good raggy bow? Let's see. I'm just going to start laying out all this stuff I have out of my little scrap bin. And I may not have enough. I may have to, to um, do it after the live or tomorrow. Let's see, what have I got over here? See, I still got the rope from the other night, <laughs> from that flag. I think the metal is good too. All right. 
this along. Put some more of this in here. Like I said, this I just throw these in my scrap bin, and then when I need something, I'll just go dig and find some. Here's some of that burlap that I use to put them together. Each star needs a rag bow. That would be really cute. Yeah. Yeah, it does look like a military dog tag. And they came from Dollar Tree. I just picked them up at some point. I just got this fabric at Hobby Lobby, and I really love this fabric. Um, it's like ticking, reversed almost. But it's cotton. It's not... Um, it's not thick. I'm probably gonna um, I don't want to leave. Oh, this <laughs> gold ribbon too. Ooh, I may have to dig out the Christmas stuff for some gold. Don't know if I have any gold right here. It's probably oh, it misses it. A pom pom. Yeah, pom pom. I know I like me some pom poms. Let's do that. I have a lap full of stuff. USA cloth from the bow. Yes. Let's see, so like this ticking fabric, it's really thick, like canvas material, but that blue is not. Put all this over here. Put some raffia. Oh, now I will have to get up for that because that's somewhere else in my stash around here. Let's put this. It's real fat. Let's put it in the back. Like that. Let's put this in here. I got all kinds of just stuffs. Red, yeah, I can do a red, white, and blue pom pom. I'd have to dig out my yarn though, it's not close by. Um, let's see, just building my little pile. So, we'll put I'm gonna put it at the top and then I'm just gonna see what it's gonna look like and see if I want to put it on each one. Tomorrow, I'm gonna make something out of pill bottles. Yay! Use those peel bottles. Okay. I just like this blue. Let's cut that salvage edge, salvage edge off. I'll put this blue right here because I don't want it to be in the front, but I want it to be in there because it's going to be on the blue. All right, come here, little part. Here's my zip ties. Hey, Gina from Tennessee. Tennessee's close to me, but I don't know what part of Tennessee that you're in. All right, so. So I just use a zip tie just because it's easier for me to grab a hold of and get it really tight. And I could put one of those stars in the middle like we did the other night on that one. You remember we did that one and did a star? Okay. Yeah, Tanya lives in Memphis. She's close to me. All right, so then I just cut my little zip tie off, and there you have it. Because I never can get them tight enough, so I have to have some help. <laughs> and I can get them tight with that zip tie. And they're not going anywhere. All right. Yeah, Tanya, they're, you have to get them when you see them. And I don't see them all the time either. Um, but when I see them, I'll grab some if I need them. Because I use them for this kind of stuff. some off just just whacking it y'all didn't know I was a hairdresser on the side not really you don't want me cutting your hair um so anyway look it's gonna be so cute okay so now I gotta figure out how to attach it that's gonna be the fun part I mean I can glue it Let's see, let's see, let me think, let me think, let me think. What if I did it this way? I'm thinking, I'm sorry. 
Yeah, I can't get the bow tied either. I have to have zip tie. All right, so let's put... I'm gonna put my knot under here so you can't see the knot from the original one. And I'm gonna try to go through the hole that the star has in it. I'm gonna try, yep, and I'm gonna do it, yes, okay. So I'm gonna try to make this happen. This and that, now I gotta concentrate. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to put my tag on. Thank you, Rhonda. Tie it all together. Uh-oh. Let's see. All right. So here it is. Let's see if I can get it all fixed. And I might, I could put this in there. Could hang, hang my tag. Let's see. Thank you, Regina. You're so sweet. Okay. All right. So I think I'm gonna make it look like it's coming off the bow, but let's see. But it's not really. I mean, it is, but I'm gonna just do it like. Somehow, I gotta fix it. All right, maybe. Oh, I can cut the bow down. Yeah, I can cut it down. If it's too big, if y'all think the bow's too big. Yeah, I use glue painter's tape. But you can use masking tape. I think Dollar Tree has the blue painter's tape. But that's not from Dollar Tree. Spray tips with starch and let it dry or you can bend them. Yeah, and I have that liquid starch too. That I used the ghost on last on the ghost last year. Alright, let's see if I can get this to work like I want it to. Okay. I think I'm gonna leave that jute the way it is. Look how stinking cute. But I can cut it down. Y'all think it's too big? Let me hold it up where you can see the whole thing. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Look how stinking adorable this is. Yes, Linda, you do. And you'll get all giddy like me when it starts crackling up. And you'll be like, ah. Nancy, the stars are from Dollar Tree. You would never know. Now, you would never know. Okay. I'm just going to trim some of them that I think are too long. Just have to keep blousing it around to make it look fluffy. I just like it to look messy and, and just ragged. I think it is so cute, y'all. I wish I could hold it all up together, but I can't. Isn't it cute? Let me hold it for my picture. <laughs> it looks so cute. Oh, you're so sweet. A star in the middle of the bow. So y'all think I should put a star there? Oop. Just plain wood. That. Stick it in the middle. Okay, bow size is perfect. I think I'm gonna, I know, I love how it came out too, Emily. Thank you. Perfect. It is perfect for the front door. That's what I was thinking. I was like, it's long enough to where it can, you know, it's going to be substantial rather than just one star on its own. So I think it would be perfect for the door. And I'm just taking some of this plaster and just painting it with my finger. Thank you, Tanya. Let me get that off my finger. Okay. The bow's too big, Luann said. I might sit back and look at it and then just keep trimming it down. Let's see. All right, so. 
I like the ragginess of it. Tie in with the ribbon. Yes. It's just got that plaster. Okay. Here it is. There it is. There it is. Put a star in it. Isn't it cute? Look at that. I wish I could hold the whole thing up so y'all could see it. It's so big. Three stars from the Dollar Tree and some crackle medium, or you could use glue. And just some paint and some ribbon, y'all. That is so adorable. I think it looks so good. I think it looks so good. I'm so pleased. I cannot wait. And I'm, I might think about putting some fabric in between here. I don't know yet. I might do that. Somebody said they'll have to watch the replay. Yes, you'll have to see how this started out because it crackled amazing. I couldn't have asked for it to, um, to crackle any better than it did. So if you're going to crackle, practice on something first um, and don't, you know, don't do it on your piece, whatever you're going to do. Um, because I could have always, if this would have just kind of stunk, I could have always flipped it over and done the other side or sanded it off. But different paint, I think different paint reacts to this stuff different. So if you're using chalk paint on top and it crackles, I think it's going to crackle different. Because see, even this down here, the red, that's acrylic paint. It's a different brand, but it's acrylic paint. And this is apple barrel and you see the difference in how it looks it looks totally not the same now if i were to use deco art i don't know if it would have looked like this i don't know but this was apple barrel and i think it looks fantastic it does see yes it good it hides my little blob there doesn't it <laughs> yay it does look so good. I love this. I love the way this crackled. Makes me want to paint something else and crackle it just so I can watch it. Um, paint the ribbon white in between. Paint them white right there. I kind of like the burlap. I could. I could paint them white. I kind of like the burlap. Or I could have used um, some of that fabric. Some of this ticking fabric. I could have used that, couldn't I? I didn't even think about that. I love this. The bow just made it. I, lo I, do, I just like the raggy Americana. I don't know. I just like it. With all of the patriotic colors. Hey, Suki! There is Suki! Yay, Suki! I hope you're doing so good. Yeah, I might do... I could put little bows here and do the same fabric and do them. I don't know. Thank you, Irene. I might sleep on it, but I definitely am probably gonna fill up the holes. Put glue in there and paint back over them. Going to the Dollar Tree, LaJana, La to get you some stars. I know, Jody. right? It looks like something that you would see hanging it at a store to buy, but it looks so good. I can't believe it tur It turned out the way it did because I was, wor was kind of worried. I was worried about my, my painter's tape and my stripes and Melanie says the burlap goes better. It looks awesome as it is. That's right, Sandra. I will. I Sometimes I'll sleep on something, like if I want to put a bow here, a bow here. And I might make a little bow and put there and just see. Um, see what it looks like. I know I like that ribbon, too. It's from Michaels. I have it in several different widths, I think, for something. For something or another. Just tie on ribbon. Yeah, I could. I could tie it right here and just see what it looks like. I don't have to leave it, but I might just put something and see if it looks okay. Oh, y'all welcome. Put stars on the holes. All right, we'll experiment. Uh, I don't know. Like a star on a star. That's what that looks like. Yeah, I could. That wouldn't look bad. I might try to cover them first. 
yeah, I came up with this idea. I saw, I want to say I saw a door hanger or something. Something that somebody did. No, it wasn't a door hanger. It was on a smaller scale. It was three stars together, but it was on a real small scale. It was like using this size stars. And it was done in these colors. And I thought, well, that would look cool if I did it with these big stars. But I wanted the crackle because the crackle to me just makes it. But if you don't have crackle, school glue, $1.25 at the five quarter store. <laughs> oh, Lori said put half beads on the points. Now that would be really pretty too. To put the split uh, beads on the points, they would look like rivets. That would look really cool. Primitive crafts change up later. Antique wax. Yes, I thought about the antique wax. I thought I got it out over here actually because I thought I might end up waxing it just depending on it. But you know, I don't know if I am or not. It's like I don't want to. I don't want to do too much to it because you know you can go a little too far sometimes. You get happy and start adding all this stuff, and then you're like, "Ooh, I shouldn't have done." That. Navy, navy blue stars on the stripes. Yeah, paint them, paint them navy. That might would look cool. I think I'm going to probably try to fill them first. And then uh, um, Rhonda says she loves everything about it. Yes, Robin, sometimes less is more. Sometimes you just kind of have to say, okay, I'm going to stop here. I'm not going to do anything else because it's going to just keep getting too much. Thank you, Dana. Thank you, Deb. I do too, y'all. I just can't, I just can't get over how well that did, but I put it super, super thick. So that, I think that's the key to it because I've never had it crackle this much before. So, um, <laughs> Leah said, it ain't a dollar store no more. <laughs> um, but you could, if you don't want to paint the stripes and all what I did, you could cover it with scrapbook paper, cover this, you could cover these in fabric like this do you know how fantastic it would look to cover that with this fabric and then put that this red ticking and cover these with that fabric y'all that would look so so good um because that was part of my thought process in the beginning i thought well i'm gonna cover it with fabric and then i thought no what about scrapbook paper no and i was like i'm gonna paint it and crackle it that's what i knew I was, and then i was like that's what i'm doing um I just think it would be cool, though, if you covered it with fabric, with the ticking. I think it would be real pretty. And then you could grungy that up and make it look real primitive. If you try the half beads, go with silver to match the tag. Yes. I know. I think that little tag is cool. Because if I put USA, and you could put USA on here. I just don't have real pretty handwriting like those people that do that painting, the hand lettering and all. No. Not this girl. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it would look like a Brad. Exactly. Oh, they have, yeah, they have some little wood stuff. Yes, I have a bunch of those little bird houses because I want to do a little whole bird condo thing. I just hadn't got around to it. Thank you, Judy. I know, I'm going to sleep on that idea with the, the, uh, bows here. I'm going to sleep on it because y'all know how I am. I'll come back and in the morning and have a whole different outlook on it when I, um, D, Deanne, absolutely 100% you can Mod Podge fabric and I love to Mod Podge fabric. I love it. Um, years and years ago, I had a dresser, like a little bitty dresser and I took fabric and Mod Podge it to the front of the drawers, like some of that designer fabric, you know, the upholstery decorative fabric, and Mod Podge them to the front of the drawers of that dresser, and people just thought that was the prettiest dresser ever. Um, I ended up selling it, but uh, after, when I moved, I sold it, but it was so pretty with that fabric Mod Podge on the front of the dresser drawers. It was gorgeous. It was so pretty. Hey, Anna. There's Anna with J&A Woodcrafts and Decor. I can't write pretty either, Kathy. It looks like a preschooler did it. <laughs> I wish I could. I am so envious. People say, oh, you can. You can. I'm like, no. <laughs> uh, 
uh, Lori, I try to because I like to give you an idea to change it up because don't think that you have to have the exact same stuff, like go out and buy every single thing that I have to do this. You can make this look just as good with some fabric, some scrapbook paper. Even if you don't do the crackle, you could still paint it with the regular paints, the craft paints, tape it off, paint it, and you could wax it, you could sand it and make it look rough, but I know you've probably got school glue. I know you probably do. Or Mod Podge, if you're a crafter for sure, you probably got Mod Podge, and it will do the same thing as the, the, um, the crackle medium. I just happen to have it, because when I got it, I didn't know that I could use school glue, and you see, I've had this like two years and I've only used down to there. So you really don't need it. I just use it because I have it. Um, thank you, Judy. Adult, it's okay. You can go back and watch replay, but look how stinking adorable this is. Dollar Tree stars, girl. Yeah, and the thing at the bottom is my shirt. This is last year's shirt, but y'all know I love beware uh, sportswear. I wear their t-shirts all the time. And they finally have given me a promo code for y'all. If you use your promo co code when you check out TTV, the Turquoise Valentine 20, then it will give you 20% off your purchase. Like, even if the stuff's on sale, you will still get 20% on top of that. So, um, so take advantage of that. Yeah, the blue is English Navy from Apple Barrel. And then the red was Tuscan red, I think. Just Tuscan red. I wanted a, a deep red. And I probably should have used Tuscan on that, but I didn't. Yeah, the shirt matches my bow. <laughs> That's why I wanted to wear this tonight. I was like, oh, I'm wearing my, uh, my uh, patriotic shirt. But they have some cute designs this year for patriotic, and I cannot wait for mine to come. Paula, I don't think you can crackle on fabric. Now, I don't know. I, I could be wrong, but you can certainly try. Um, yeah, you, just regular white school glue will do the same thing. I finally found the stars, but only one. Uh, well, just hang on to it, because then you might get another one. Look in your Christmas stuff, because they put them out at Christmas, too. I, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say they put the stars out at Christmas. I may be wrong. Thank you, Miss Glenda. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to hop off, and I sure hope you give this a try if you have the three stars. If you don't, you can always do it. These are from Walmart. You can do it with a small version of it um, and put it on a sign just, just to give you an idea. But this is what was happening in my head. And I and have I told y'all that I'm in love with this crackle? Because I am. <laughs> it looks so cool. Um, on me. Yeah, they're true to size. The shirts are true to size, and I love them. I have, I don't know how many shirts from them, a bunch. All right, guys, y'all have a good night. I will see y'all Monday night. Today's Thursday. I'll see y'all Monday night, and y'all have a good weekend. Have Be safe. Y'all watch the tornadoes. I know there's a lot of people saying they had tornadoes. So, um, yes, Elaine, cut them out of cardboard. Cut them out of the foam board. If you have one, then trace it and cut it out of the foam board. Nobody's going to know. Um, okay, Karen said she got hers off Amazon. So, yeah, shop around. But, like I said, Hobby Lobby may have them. I'm not sure. But use your imagination. <laughs> All right, guys. Love y'all. Thank y'all for watching and being here. I appreciate every one of y'all. And y'all be safe. And I'll see y'all Monday night. Bye, guys.